Hey everyone, we're going to be talking about a few different themes in this one and we want you to join in on the conversation in the comments below. Why don't you tell us about some examples of good audio cues in games, and as well as any experiences you've ever had if you've ran into a streamer while playing a game, and your favorite game soundtracks. And here we go. Level three. Level three. Three, 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 three. All right, so music. Yeah. Music video game. Um, ask me any of those questions that you wanted to ask me about. I don't music even remember. Oh, yeah, so visual versus visual perception and, like, being a more visual player versus being a more audio player where you're listening for, like, audio cues. That's I mean, like... All right, so check it out. You, you've obviously played Overwatch. Overwatch is huge on audio. Like, and it's it's... Like, a lot of people don't even realize it. Like, think about, um... Oh, you have to slam it down. That's interesting. Mechanic. Um, yeah. Think about, um... Like, when you hear, like, uh... Um... Like, Hanzo's alt. If you hear it in, like, a different language compared to if you hear it in English. If you hear it in English, he's on your team. If you hear it in a different language, he's on the enemy team. Oh, well, well, things like that. I mean... So, I guess... I, I guess... That's... And then hearing where they're where like where they're coming from, where their footsteps are, and so on and so forth. Like those like I know it's not audio cues like this, but it's something that's oh yeah. So I, I get where you're coming from with that. Where and and that is something a lot of people don't take into consideration sometimes. Oh, where that. like the things that the characters are saying in something like Overwatch it does tell you that um, something's happening. And that that is something that is something that's um easier to. To notice, because that's something that's like that's basically an alert. Um, and and something like I guess that can also apply to something like Rainbow Six Siege. I play a lot of Rainbow yeah. Six Siege, and um, obviously audio is huge in that. Oh, so you have to you have to do it perfectly, otherwise that thing comes back together. Oh man, I just did it again. It's fine though. <laughs> so it opens up with a boss. That's really interesting. Wow, dude, I'm... It's fine, it's fine. We took a break, and you just gotta get back into it. But yeah, some, something like Rainbow Six Siege, where you have to be constantly what's referred to as sound whoring, mm -hmm. where you're listening for footsteps, you're listening for the sound of somebody placing an object on a wall or a window. I mean, I've been killed so many times because I was putting an item up on a window, and they just immediately started shooting through the window. And it's mm -hmm. because they, they were sound whoring, essentially, where they're just listening for any little tiny thing. Now recently, um, we were we were playing. We had a full team game of Rainbow Six Siege, full team IMSP mm -hmm. playing Rainbow Six Siege, and um, our friend Creation was streaming. And I was really upset that he wasn't archiving his streams on that day. Yeah, well, I was, that, that was, was like that was like one of his um, one of his first streams. But we ended up facing um, another guy that was streaming, a, a decently popular streamer. He used to be kind of. Something on YouTube, Eat My Diction. I, I, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. No, I'm not. And I, I was thinking about it, when we got into the game, we got into the lobby, and we saw, I saw his name, and I was like, that name looks kind of familiar, because I knew I had seen him on other things. I couldn't remember if it was like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty. I know he was one of those guys, though, back, back in some older times on YouTube. Did you end up looking him up after? So, Peter Horsbane mm -hmm. goes and looks him up on Twitch. So, he's streaming. Oh, okay. So, of course, um, Helen Earth was also there. He was drunk off his ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it was me, Helen Earth, Peter Mike Horsbane. Mike, drunk, is pretty funny, too. Creation, and I forget who our fifth was. I don't think... No, it wasn't Takuro Ayano. Um, man, I really don't remember who the fifth was. That's rank. Oh, no, it was F-Dragon. F-Dragon was our fifth. Okay. So, of course, every, so Helen Earth people, starts just right off the bat... You know who F Dragon oh, was? Big, big tall Devin. Oh yeah, I just don't know him by that. I guess. Yeah. Um, so, they hell's drunk off his ass, and he's just starts talking shit to Diction right off the bat. <laughs> and then um, he's like, "Shut up, serve." I'm, I'm just like, I didn't even say anything. <laughs> so, whatever. So it's the bank map, and um, so they're. They, we, we were, super, we're super casual with Siege. You know, okay. we take months off at a time, and every time we get that, we come back, we need to reacquaint ourselves with the game. So we weren't yeah. playing too hot that night, and so we get in, 
Yeah. And we're setting up and stuff. We do our setup. We get ready. And they're starting to break in. We're defending. They're coming in. Okay. So I'm in a hallway somewhere. We have two people in the in the main room, in the main objective room. The only one that has the guy stream up is Peter Horsbane. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's like seeing where he is. Well, now here's the thing. Peter wasn't actually do like stream sniping. Plus, there's so much of a delay. Yeah. That that won't even in a game like Siege. Yeah. That is like that delay is so extreme. Yeah. That like. You know, by the time the game actually starts and they're break breaching in and they're actually popping us off, mm -hmm. we probably still see them in their prep Spawn, phase. Yeah, or whatever. The oh, I fucking miss the armor. It's fine though, because if you do die, you're I mean, you're you made it to the next spot anyway. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm hiding in the hallway. Uh, Hell and Earth's uh, running around looking for them. Someone else is running around looking for them. Um, F Dragon and I think Creation were in the objective room. All of a sudden, you hear an explosion, and then you see Diction just get absolutely destroyed. Nice. So, then the round's going on, and Peter Horseman's like, Oh, hey, they're accusing us of cheating. They're accusing us of uh, stream sniping. And we're sitting there like, what? So after Dragon was playing this character named Rook, his whole idea is he's just a big armored guy. Mm -hmm. And he drops armor for the rest of the team. So yeah, he's new, right? No, he's old. He he was he was a launch character. Oh, uh, okay. And um, so there's another character named Pulse who has a heartbeat scanner and can kind of see like see your heartbeat through walls and stuff. So Diction, of course, is, was apparently he labeled it as a drunk stream, which I'm no stranger to drunk streams, so I understand. Yeah. But was saying this stream sniping a rook killed me, not even a pulse. It was a rook. They're yeah. definitely stream sniping me. And um, we, mind you, we lost the round. Yeah. We lost the round really badly. Like, F Dragon got a kill and I got a kill and uh, that was it. Okay. Like, we got absolutely raped by these guys. Mm. But he's sitting there accusing us of stream sniping. Even though what he had done was, like, F Dragon had heard him place the charge on the window. The window blew up and then F Dragon went out to the window and shot him. Like, you, at that point, you had given yourself away. And this is all just still going back to audio cues. Yeah. Wow, like, this how is does such this tie a. In? This, Cause it was like, yeah, you know, the sound it. of, you know, a window just got blown up. And it, 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 the window's obviously in the room you were in. So, you know, in, in, in a situation like that, you know, like, audio cues are super important to the point where you look like you're a cheater. <laughs> I guess that's the story. Okay. And, like, eventually, um, Creation jumped in their Twitch chat and was, like, calling them, like, calling them out and shit, saying, how the hell can we be stream sniping you when there's a stream delay of, like, you know, like, at least 20 seconds? Like, no matter how, how, um, good your internet connection is, there's gonna be a stream delay. Yeah. Um. And it's, it's so unreliable that you can't... You can't possibly use that as, like, an advantageous thing. Okay. On a separate topic, what is your favorite soundtrack to any video game? Oh, God. There are so many good soundtracks to so many games. I was actually going to say, you know what game has a really good soundtrack? It's Titan Souls. Okay. And, um, like, because every, every boss has their own very unique theme. And um, if you go back and watch my 100% uh, boss guide to Titan Souls, I use the boss theme for every single boss there. Wow. Plugging yeah. yourself on your own YouTube. Oh, yeah, but so there's that. Um, have you ever played or heard That's of Anarchy uh, Reigns? <laughs> no, I have not. That has such an amazing soundtrack. It's kind of like hip hop y. Oh, shit. So I don't know how you feel about the hip hop y stuff. Uh, it's good. But um, it, it's it's so powerful. Devil May Cry is like most action games have really good soundtracks. Devil mm. May Cry has a really good soundtrack. Um, there's, there's something more recently that had such a strong soundtrack. I, I can't remember what it was. Like, what, what are some of your favorite soundtracks? If you can um, um, pick some off the top of your head and still be able to focus. So, I really... Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, the second I started talking. I really liked... Uh, I didn't even, like, play through, like, a quarter of the game, but I really liked Transistor. Like, I would just put on that, that while I was, like, studying um, at school just to, like, have something in the background. Right. Um... And then if you go back a little bit more, and I mean, um, Bastion was was pretty good. Oh, yeah, um, but Bastion and the Transistor soundtrack is yeah, really good. Yeah, I actually met uh, Darren Corbs, who's the um, 
the writer for both of those. Oh, nice. Yeah, composer, I guess. But, um, I'm trying to think. I, I mean... Well, it's now we talk about uh, composers, Mick Gordon and his soundtracks for Killer Instinct and Doom are so strong. Like, they're so heavy and powerful. Um, the, the Halo soundtracks have always been really good. You know, I, this is kind of like... Not video games, but yeah, I I agree with the the um, that. But you said killer, and all I could think of was Killer Queen, and I really really like uh, from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Killer Queen. Yeah, I like uh, bites of the dust. What's, the, what's his name? Kida. 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 Kira. Yeah. Whatever. I like I like his his like evil anime song. Yoshikage Kira. Yeah, it's like so like menacing. Oh, there we go. Did it. It's, it's extremely menacing. It's, a lot of the themes oh, no. in JoJo are so strong. Did you watch part two? I did watch part two, yeah. Dude, the Pillar Men theme? Yeah. It's so insane. I love everything about the Pillar Men theme. I, um... What did, what did I really like? Oh, I, I, I like... I mean, this isn't, like, a theme or anything, but I really like the part uh, when he was, like, crawling away in that anime. When he was, like, with the minecart. Um... So basically, Joseph's in in the room meeting like the Pillarmen. Yep. And uh, Cecil, oh god damn it! Cecil sees him like Caesar. Caesar, yeah. Sorry. Caesar. Caesar sees him like crawling away as he's like lying there, almost dead on the ground. And then he's like, "What a coward! Like this guy is like terrible." And blah 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 blah. And he's like going off pretty much. And he's like, and uh, basically he's like detracting the enemies to like come towards him as he like takes off on the minecart. Do you not you don't Yeah, yeah. That? Okay. But I, I don't know. I love that scene cuz it just like painted Jojo as like such like a I don't like a fucking twerp, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like using his runaway tactic. Yeah, the Joe Star ancient family secret. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. Um, sorry, we were talking about, like, music sound yeah, effects. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, well, that's fine. I mean, that, that's good, because, like, a lot, of, a lot of the themes in JoJo is, like, all the stand names are, like, bands yep. or songs. True, yeah. And, classic like, even... rock. Yeah, a lot of classic... I mean, stuff that, um... Er, Araki is... Re, Araki being the man who writes JoJo and draws JoJo, mm -hmm. um, is so inspired from all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and it, it's fantastic. So, like, there's so much musical themes. But, like, going back to, like, some video game stuff, I guess... Um, oh, I had I had one. Oh yeah, um, so going back to like action games, like a lot of the stuff that Platinum Games puts out is so fucking strong as far as soundtracks go. Like uh, the entire soundtrack of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance mm -hmm. is so, like I go back every now and again. I listen to the whole thing because like all the boss themes and even just the regular songs are so good. And that's one of those things where like when you're fighting a boss. You know, you like you're doing the first phase, and as you get like to enter the final phase, all of a sudden the vocals come on. Ooh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. The vocals come on. Yeah, like, then the vocals come in, and so like first you had like you know you start the song starts off it's just an instrumental. Mm -hmm. which, and, which game are we talking about? Um, like, oh, just there's like, a lot. This is actually a thing in most games, but okay. this also was something in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Where, okay. Like you're just doing the boss, and you listen to the instrumental of the song, and it's a pretty good instrumental. Like everything's super good so far, but then the deeper you get into the fight, like this phase happens. All of a sudden, they bring in like either another part of the instrumental, mm -hmm. or like you know just another layer of the song just come, is added in, mm -hmm. and that tells you like that makes the, the fight or whatever thing is happening in, in the game so much stronger where like because it, it gives you the feeling that this is an intense moment and because the way the song is changing like this like it's developing it's growing we're adding a new thing to this it's it, it just feels so great and um, that's and that's good game design f mod is a program that you can actually do that with if you were making music like and make it sync up to the game itself if anybody's okay. ever interested in like programming music into games I looked into it for a little while because, like, I uh, originally wanted to become a composer for um, video games, but to get into that field is like so ridiculously difficult. Yeah. Oh, well, no. do you know? Um, have you ever heard Jay Coffin? He's uh, the guy that maybe. did the, um, the music for Shovel Knight. Okay. And yeah. he's he he does so much. He 
He just takes on work and work and work and t- does like as much shit as he can. Just and, like the big thing is like he really wants his name out there more than anything else. Mm-hmm. And that's like the main drive behind a lot of the work he does because he's just he's just trying to besides just trying to make a living, obviously, but like. Right. Wants, he wants, wants like, like the big like he takes on like every single project that comes gets thrown at him, just because he wants like he wants to be the guy, you know. Mm. Like he wants his name to be, thank God, associated with like I'm the music guy. I I made I made the music for all these games. I made the music for Shovel Knight. Ooh. You know, like shit like that. Like, 